Gertrude Stein. Gertrude Stein penned the famous line, a rose is a rose is a rose. But Gertrude was wrong. A rose isn't always a rose. Sometimes it can be the sign of a miracle. Good Monday morning! You made the right choice to wake up with Pucked Up Roses and Rose Red on the Thrift Store Rundown. As always, this is the series that blends both The Bachelor and Pretty Little Liars, Roses and Rose Red, together and pucks it all up with some really good friends on a budget. As you know, this is being powered, not sponsored, by OK Magazine. Today we got the September 11, 2017 issue. Just about everybody knows where they were, what they were doing, and what happened 16 years prior to this issue's release. And let's just say it monumentally sucked. The stress of that day was enough to actually make your hair fall out. Never mind this, bunch of liars at OK. Blake dumps Gwen. Give me a break. Hopefully, in the midst of your grief, you found time to head up the newsstand on this day and pick up this issue of OK. Not for this story, but for the many others that I'm going to highlight today. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is much more than just an okay reprieve from the grief. I mean, isn't that just kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck, fantastic? Yes, it is, Rachel. Yes, this is. So much so, I'm not even going to waste time on all the other cover stories, save for one on the top right-hand corner of the cover. Getting to know the silver anniversary dancing with the stars cast. Not silver anniversary in terms of years of broadcast, but in terms of seasons. Season 25. That is our first stop. A DWTS sneak peek. As anticipation ramps up for the return of Dancing with the Stars, OK gets the scoop on Season 25's Toe Tappers, four of whom briefly profiled in this Who's Who section. The pros, Mark Ballas and Val Shumikovsky. Did I get that fairly spot on? I hope so. The celeb partners, although not partners with each other, are Drew Scott, one half of the Property Brothers, and one half of WWE Hall of Famers, the Bella Twins, the loves of my life, in terms of pro wrestling, Nikki Bella. Not featured in here is Sasha P. Tiersa from Pretty Little Liars, who, although I don't watch Dancing with the Stars, I was rooting for, for obviously personal reasons that are well documented here on this channel. Like Sasha, Nikki and her partner, Autumn were eliminated. But if you know DWTS, you know that chemistry doesn't stop on the ballroom floor. They have a rather impeccable track record for being matchmakers. Nikki and Autumn would eventually, eventually get married, performing quite a devastating rack attack on my heart, shattering it into a thousand pieces. I wanted to marry Nikki Bella! But I do take solace that somebody did it for me, so I don't have to go through the stress of planning that. Next up, A Bathing Beauty, documented in from Matera, Spain, August 16th. She's got a beautiful mind and a hot bod, rocking an itsy bitsy yellow bikini. Jennifer Connolly sold off her figure while on vacation with her husband, Paul Bettany, and their two kids. Can you name any other women in their 50s that make men sully their undies in full unadulterated lust like this? I can name a few. Demi Moore, Elizabeth Harley, Jennifer Lopez, and the women of Friends, one of whom you'll see a little later on. I just wanted to profile this because, well, why not? This is a jam-packed issue. But now it's time to take care of some housekeeping. And rather unpleasant housekeeping at that. John and Kate Gosling clashing over custody yet again. This time around, their class at their Pennsylvania home was so ugly, the police were called to intervene. I don't know about you, but 14 years of duking it out with your ex-spouse over custody of your kids in family court, there's no way to live. So I'm glad for their sakes, and especially for the kids' sakes, and really all of our sakes, that their court battle is over. All the kids are young adults and living on their own in New York and North Carolina. The twins, Maddie and Kevin, 22, and the six tuplets, Alexis, Hannah, Leah, Aiden, Colin, and Joel, 19. They just turned 19 a few days ago, actually. They're living on their own, too. And while they're saying goodbye to family court summonses, they're also mercifully saying goodbye to the spotlight. 
I'm sorry to say, however, that whatever time they have left in the spotlight will be reduced to tabloid stories and features on semi available entertainment news programs. Uh, but as you know, that is one of the major repercussions of being a reality TV star. It doesn't matter if you're young or old. Tabloids are scandal tinged scars of war. And those wounds will take an awfully long time to go away, if they ever do. Wherever you stand on the Goslings, I choose to remember them for the good times, and nothing more. Oh, I'm wondering, would any other judge want to take out their case in the future? Not a chance. Good! So, let's take a cue from Judge Rhonda Sykes, bang the gavel on these two once and for all, and move on. Now, can we finally get this Roses and Rosewood episode on the way, or can we turn this into a 30-minute ASMR page flip? No! God, please, no! No! I thought so. Oh, wait. <laughs> I forgot to mention Shay Mitchell kicks off this episode. And she's actually right next to Jennifer Connelly. So, let's take care of that right now. Here we go. Shay Mitchell breaking a sweat. New York City, August 17th. She wrote for a cause. Helping to launch be always limited edition tie-dye pore strips, which help to support the UN Girl Up School Cycle Program. I don't know if this is Soul Psycho or anything else, but you got Say Mitchell Blakey the Sweat, that's all that matters to me. Emily Fields, Say Mitchell has got one rockin' figure. Always a nice treat to have. So who's next? Oh, you're next. Well, this is DeMario Jackson. As you know, The Bachelor in Paradise alum was under investigation by the network, ABC and Warner Brothers TV for allegedly taking advantage of Cohen Olympio's Platinum Virgin. He also dissed on the consequences that came about from that and his hesitance to get back into dating. However, he wouldn't be above returning as The Bachelor. DeMario Jackson as The Bachelor? Absolutely not. Case closed. In the real talk section, DeMario sounds off on some former castmates. Taylor, Raven, Alexis, and former Bachelorette Rachel Lindsay. I can only hope that all the men on Charity Lawson's season, which starts next month, are 100% baggage free. If not, I think that season and the next season of Bachelor in Paradise might have some problems on their hands that they'll want to cub ahead of time. Which is why background checks definitely need to be improved in that casting process. Alright, let's heat things up a little bit with the Hollywood heat meter. As you can see here, from tepid to tantalizing, what's got Tinseltown in the tizzy? The second hottest story, what could have been if Justin Thoreau didn't sleep in on his friend's audition alongside Jennifer Aniston, his soon-to-be wife. If he actually made it to his audition that day and booked the role, he could have been a rival with David Schwimmer for Jennifer Anderson's affections. Thus adding a whole new layer of complex drama to the Ross and Rachel on break, off break, on camera, off camera relationship drama that has plagued friends, although not that much, for nearly 30 years. Which is why I don't ship Ross and Rachel. They give me a headache. I'm 100% Monica and Chandler. Don't get me wrong. I respect Ross and Rachel because they did have to fight for their love a lot, and I did minorly ship Justin and Jennifer together, but as you know, that didn't work out. Next! Sound bites. Celebrities saying the darnest things. We got here Cindy Crawford, Jared Leto, Katie Holmes, Brooklyn Decker, John Hamm, Anna Kendrick, Megan Fox, and... Joey! Matt LeBlanc. And by the way, I'm going to give you a shout out to my pal Tony Lindbergh-Dizzi, who's been working with me on my mental health and a few other things. You see, Joey is Tony Lynn's crust. Not just French crust, but overall crust. That's Matt LeBlanc for you. I would like to retire earlier than later because I think I would like to do not a fucking thing. Just nothing. That's Matt LeBlanc's views on Tony 50 and wanting to give up acting. No, 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 no. Yes, your Joey Tribbiani days are far behind you, but I think you still got some juice up to this crazy caboose. I wish I could say the same for Joey's love life. Speaking of which, we caught a glimpse of one of Joey's ex-girlfriends, Katie, hobnobbing with OK Magazine staffers in their office. 
Watch. Hi. You need to go to the bus station. Johnson, go near the train station. Okay, you need to go. And then let me know where you guys want to go. You have to go there tomorrow. Like, you know? Oh, yeah. Alright. Wait, is there a reward too? Wait, you're going to get to my Starby. Oh my god, I am so itty bitty. Look at him. I had to put on my heels because I had to feel like a little bit. If you didn't get the memo, that's Katie, a.k.a. Punky Booster, a.k.a. Soleil Moon Fi. Oh, what a heavenly name the Eternals have blessed her with. A heavenly name for such a heavenly woman. And certainly apropos, Soleil stands for sunshine, and she's definitely a way of sunshine. Not to mention, she's so freaking hot. Even though she's not featured in here, neither is Courtney Cox or Troy and Belisario for that matter. They're my loves in terms of friends and pretty little liars respectfully. What we do have here is real life romance. Couples that met on film and TV sets and are still going strong. Save for one exception from Step Up to True Blood. We also have some celeb walkout inspiration featuring case studies from Nina Dobrev of The Vampire Diaries. And Padma Lacks Me of Top Chef. So all in all, what's not to like in this issue? Except for the Gosselin article. I'm giving this 5 out of 5 claps. So much variety. This is so well rounded in here. It's gonna be pretty hard to top this next week. But that won't stop us from trying. I want to thank you so much for checking this episode out. After two days of keeping it simple, those two days being well spaced apart from each other for personally obvious reasons that are far too painful for me to discuss, <sighs> I'm so glad you were able to join me to really liven this week up. I wish you a great week, and since Pretty Little Liars started off this week, they're going to bring us home this week. Remember, two can keep a secret, if one of them is dead. Thanks for watching. Check out more TSR by clicking on another awesome review like this one, top left. And be sure to subscribe by clicking top right. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.